The feeding during a race is actually very crucial. Um, I think it's something that might be underlooked by some athletes, uh, but it's extremely important to fuel in your warm up properly, um, but then consistently taking X amount of calories uh, with or without caffeine, I do with um, during the race every so often to maintain that high. You don't have any crashes. Um, so for me personally, I, I reach for the, the Goo Roctane um, with caffeine and uh, I'll consume anywhere from five to seven gels throughout a race. So it's pretty important. Um, and then of course, uh, I always look forward to the chocolate recovery at the end of the race. <laughs> Yeah, it's very important, obviously, to keep the body fueled during the race. Uh, it's one and a half hours, which, although isn't super long, if you if you don't fuel early on in the race, you can definitely cramp in the last lap or two. Which, you know, if, you, if that starts to happen, it costs you any um, any chance of a good result that you could have had. You know, is pretty much lost. So, um, yeah, I just go with the uh, goo lemon lime um, every lap. So I get a bottle every lap. And then um, also just uh, water to dunk over my body and keep my t core temperature down. So you've got a fuel, you've got to have the kind of hydration you need and the energy. So um, yeah, for me it's key that kind of before the race you've, you've had the, the right drinks and right gels so that you've got, got what you need to start. But then you have to top up constantly through the race. So every lap you're taking on some energy gel and, and some drinks. Um, my favourite gel would probably be the uh, salted caramel and definitely the chocolate recovery. My like dream project is to, uh, to work with Goo and make a signature maple flavor gel. So hopefully in the future we'll keep the pressure on. <laughs> yeah, for racing, definitely the Goo Lemon Lime is my favorite. Um, yeah, obviously the chocolate recovery for me is like ideal. I love, I'm a big chocolate fan, so um, that's perfect for me. So um, that's more of a treat at the end of the day of a, of a hard session. So I look forward to that all the time. I think most of us like the uh, the salted caramel gel. It's uh, that's, that's definitely the best gel. I think you could almost like, you could have some ice cream or a bit of cake or something and then just like squeeze it on as a sauce. So if you can do that with a gel, it's pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> My favorite flavor is probably the tri-berry. I love all the citrus flavors. Um, you know, they're fruity and delicious, so easy to get down. Man, there's like, there's so many different flavours there. They've got, they're pretty much covered, what do you like? Um, a sticky top of pudding would be good. That one would be a nice one. <laughs> I like the gel because there are many flowers, but maybe I would like a traditional Spanish flower, like, for example, paella, paella and red wine, because I would like to introduce the Spanish culture of the food as a Mediterranean diet to Goo Ernie. So I invite to Goo to produce the, the Spanish flowers. <laughs> I haven't explored all the flavours. I'm actually really excited about the salty caramel. I haven't been game to race with that yet, but I think they, they cover the range of flavours, but hopefully uh, an energy bar will be uh, in the making in the next few years. Oh, Mac up! God damn! 15 to 5!